Hi there, and today I'm looking at my Lego printed book collection. Now I have lots of random Lego collections. There's my Lego City bike collection. There's my vintage Lego Town motorbike collection. My monochrome minifig collection. My backlog of unopened sets collection. And of course, like everyone else, my brick separator collection, including my rare vintage green one. But one of my favourites is my collection of small printed books for minifigs. Now the original Lego minifig book has been around since 1997. But before I get into the details of the more recent ones, if you're going to like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of more Lego videos. But back to the books. Now the original Lego book hasn't been seen in a set since 2019. But between 1997 and 2019, it was in 75 different sets and it appeared in 14 different colours. Now I have an awful lot of these reddish brown ones, but actually that's only the second most popular colour. The most popular was magenta, which appeared in 27 different sets. Whereas the rarest one was uh, the green book, which appeared in the second edition of the Hogwarts Castle set in 2004. Now these books were made from one piece of plastic and you folded them up like this so they could be opened or closed. However, that meant as it was one piece of plastic, you did get these stress lines along the spine after any amount of openings and closings. It started to uh, stress the plastic like this but you could also manage to just about fit in either a one by two or two one by one tiles so you could have a small item inside it for the minifigures. Now the new opening books were released in 2016 so they overlapped with the old ones by three years which didn't finish until 2019. Now you can see if you put them side by side the new ones are slightly shorter than the original books but they are also slightly thicker than the original books. But obviously the huge benefit of this one is that it's made up of two pieces. So it opens here and you can see it's made up a front cover and a back cover. And just like the original, the uh, back cover has got two studs inside it. So it can take either two one by one tiles or a one by two tile. Now the cover is fairly thin, but it, on its spine it does have this bar. And that obviously is the same size as a minifig hand. So that can be held in a minifig hand like that. And the back cover too also has a bar on it, which is the same size, so that can be also held by a minifigure. Which means minifig Jez here can hold his book either in an open or a closed position. So since its release in 2016, the back of the book, or book binding as it's called, has been released in six colours so far, and this is pearl gold. The front cover has also been released in six colours, this one's black. And in a lot of sets they have stickers applied to the front of them to make them look more like books, but I'm more interested in the printed ones. Now I started collecting these when I saw the books from the Nexo Knights theme which is now a discontinued theme but they had these really cool printed transparent covers. Now they're all different colours and they all have different names so I'll take you through them one by one. Now all but one of the Nexo books are all on this pearl gold uh, back book binding um, and the first one is this yellow one and this is the book of deception and inside this one it just got a one by two tile with a fire monster on. Next we have the Book of Chaos. Now this is on what used to be called Transparent Black, but uh, Bricklink has renamed, recently renamed it to Transparent Brown. And that's got a really cool skull on the front of it. And inside that's got, again, a tan 1x2 tile with two red monsters with uh, little horns on them. Now this next book is in Transparent Green, and this is the Book of Revenge. And it's got this really cool uh, claw pattern on the front of it. And when you open it up, again, a 1x2 tile inside in tan and that's got a red kind of spider monster on it. I think this next one is my favourite one. It's on this fantastic dark transparent purple colour. It's just got a chevron on the front of it pointing downwards but I really like these gold clasps in the uh, corners of this one. And when you open this one up it's got a sort of a black monster with a huge orange horn and a bright yellow eye. And next in transparent orange we have the Book of Destruction. Another great cover pattern there and I do like this transparent orange colour. And then again a tan 1x2 tile and this is probably my favourite monster on the inside so we've got this uh, brown, reddish brown monster with huge teeth and some lovely orange eyes. Next up we have Transparent Dark Blue and this is the Book of Fear and it's got this great eye pattern on the front of this one and opening up a slightly unusual monster this is in the shape of a minifigure head so we've got this red minifig head monster inside and again on a tan 1x2 tile. And then lastly for the Nexo books this is the Book of Monsters. Now this is different to all the others. It doesn't have a transparent cover, it's in a reddish brown, and also it doesn't have a pearl gold back. The uh, back is also reddish brown, um, but it's got a great monster face on the front of it with that tongue hanging out. And inside, I think this is really quite a cool monster. It's almost cheeky looking. So he's got a red face with a black horn and this lovely cheeky teethy grin. 
Now, Nexo Nights as a theme ran from 2016 to 2019, so only three years, and I've got all those books, so I thought I would continue my collection by collecting the other printed books that they've made since then. And uh, they've made lots of books with um, just stickers on the front, but I didn't particularly want those, but the printed ones look really nice, so I continued on. So my first non-Nexo Nights book is this great pearl gold one with a fantastic looking dragon on the front, and this is from the Etla Lego Elves theme, and, and it came in three Lego Elves sets in 2016. And if I catch the light, you can see it's got that fantastic golden dragon on the front printed on this uh, dark red background, again on the pearl gold book. And inside, we've got a picture of a dragon looking after some colourful uh, dragon's eggs underneath it, and again, that's in gold printing. Next we come to a bunch of Harry Potter ones. Now this one's a slight departure in that it doesn't have the regular cover on it, but this came with the uh, collectible minifigure Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter, of course, and this is his Monster Book of Monsters, and you can see it's got the uh, cover here with the eyes on it. And then inside, instead of having a 1x2 tile, we've got a 1x2 uh, cheese slope here, and you can see the wonderful teeth there of the monster, and this book is from 2020. Next, another Harry Potter book from another Harry Potter collectible minifigure, and this time it came with uh, Dobby in 2018. And we've got uh, Tom Riddle's diary after it's been stabbed by the basilisk tooth there, so you can see the tear in the front of it. And inside, at the end of the film, um, Dobby has it, and he's been given clothing so there is a sock inside so that's the tom riddle diary in lovely shiny black next from the harry potter collectible minifigures series 2 in 2020 we've got an unstabbed tom riddle diary so again shiny black um, but it doesn't have the stab marks in the front and he's got his initials there tmr on the front with golden clasps in these two corners and this came with the moaning myrtle minifigure and inside you can see we've got my name is Harry Potter and the uh, book is reply replying back hello and it says hello Harry Potter obviously in the film. So we've got a one by two tile there with some nice writing on it unique to this and Tom Riddle's diary in unstabbed form. And then last for the Harry Potter books we've got this lovely sand blue one and this came with the Harry Potter figure from uh, series two of the collectible minifigures. Now this is the only one I don't yet have the inside for. So this is his uh, spell book we've got a cauldron on the front there smoking away um, and we have a one by two tan tile that needs to go inside this and that has various spells on it um, as Harry Potter acquires in the film. So that one still needs to be completed but really nice colour especially in that sand blue um, Harry Potter's spell book. Now, next to last, we have a Disney book, and this is in all reddish brown, and it's got the wonderful Disney castle on the front. Now, this came in the huge uh, Disney castle set from 2016, but it's also repeated in the Bell's Storytime set from 2018. And if I catch the light, you can see, again, nice gold printing on the front of that, and inside, as always, a 1x2 tile, and this one has got gold printing around the edges, and it says, Once Upon a Time in the Middle. And then lastly, from 2020 and the Modular Bookshop set, we have this fantastic one saying Moby Brick. And you've got um, the boat there with the great white whale as a 2x2 two two white brick. And again, gold print on the front and that lovely dark blue colour. And then inside, again, we've got the same tile as with the Disney one, and it says Once Upon a Time. And that's my complete collection of opening printed minifig books. As far as I'm aware, that's all the ones that LEGO has made so far. But if you know of another book with a printed cover, not a sticker on it, please do let me know in the comments, and I need to add it to my collection. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe for more LEGO videos. Thank you